previously on the Time Machine, I found it at a yard sale review. speed because I watched Star Trek today. Take careful note, folks. Warp speed is accomplished by pressing three non-distinct lights on the wobbly piece of plastic, unlike startup, which involves pressing three non-distinct lights on the wobbly piece of plastic. A wobbly piece of plastic that keeps disappearing more and more into the background. <laughs> I wonder how that happened. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, sweet mat lines, man. This is fantastic. Yes. Traveling at warp seven. Yeah, the nothing on the display is a great way to tell how fast your made up speed is. This is fantastic. No, it's done. All right. What's that? Seven times the speed of light. Very fast. Yeah, they're really booking it. Did you add that shitty ship in there, Phelan? What? I couldn't even do that shitty even if I tried. I do that. Look! Oh, whoa, snuck up on us there. Whatever the hell we're looking at. At this rate, the giant space sloth could sneak up on us. Uh, I'm the giant space sloth. I thought you said you couldn't do that, shitty. I didn't. That was really in the movie. I don't think. Oh, oh I hear a mountain lion! <laughs> The time machine, I found at a yard sale, is split up in two parts. The really slow part, and the dear god when will this end I can feel myself aging part. This would be the latter. So if you love endless shots of an untextured ship flying over images of space found on Kugel, you're an idiot. Also, you like this. Also, you like to boldly fl- You might notice this movie is also a little repetitious. This is really fun. It sure is. Let's fly into the sun. Okay. Ah! Ah! Oh no, they didn't! <laughs> it's great having your own spaceship. Yes. Well, it's not far to the pools. You can fly it there. When we get there, I think you better let me land it. Alright. I'm gonna get a little rest. Tell me when we get there. Having your own spaceship sure is great! Anyway, I'm bored. I'm going to bed. Wow, check her out. Flying the ship. She sure is flying that ship. Okay. Let me take it now. Yeah, she was probably getting tired doing all that nothing she was doing. I'm so glad we got to see him taking a nap for two seconds. I'm sure that had a purpose. Should be a planet right, right around that star. There it is. Oh, right in fucking front of you? Glad you had a map for that one, buddy. It just goes on like that. Oh, wait, so they're landing back on Earth? Oh, please, please, one more shot of them slowly flying over Google Images. I'd just be really confused if they had just landed. Well, don't worry, because we get to see that too. Oh 
good. I was worried the pacing might improve. No, let's just try that again. Oh, good. I was worried the pacing might improve. No, no, here, let's switch spots. <sighs> Fix it there. Go for a bit. Oh, good. I was worried the pacing might improve. Alright, I'm fix this shot. Hang on. Stay there. Good. Alright, uh. 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 I'm gonna switch, switch back. Yeah, alright, alright, um, yeah, go, alright. Oh, get, oh. Oh, good, I was worried the pacing might improve. I didn't fix anything. Establishing shots, the movie! Expecting to see them walking out during this shot? No, silly, that'd be confusing. We haven't seen them get out of their seats yet. Remember, we have to see every single st- Oh, I guess they're out of the ship. It's almost as if they don't have a close-up of the stairs for them to walk down or something. I hope you're all ready for some romance. And according to this movie, romance is walking in front of green screen cutouts of lettuce being cleaned. Don't step in the bathroom. Don't step in the bathroom. So was one of the problems you were having with this movie, it was making too much sense? Was it? Well then don't worry because now this happens. What a beautiful cave. No, wait for it to get really beautiful. Seriously trying to imply that these two had sex with each other during that outtake they left in? Elementary school plays convey a romance more straightforward than that. Look, it's clear the lead actors didn't really like each other or want to touch, so fading out is a perfectly viable option to make up for their lack of chemistry. Feel the magic. Shock, John. If it doesn't take long, will you just stop at this other planet that says D? I don't care. That's fine. It's like they're thinking about buying groceries or something. Maybe we'll step by this planet and pick up some milk. I don't care. It looks like it's the fourth planet from the sun. Maybe that's why it's called D. It's the fourth planet from the sun, so that's why it's called D? At what point do these two things connect? The fourth planet from the sun is Mars. Yeah, yes, yes, go to Mars! Go to Mars! Go.
I think we made a mistake. Okay, oh, this is what I wanted. <laughs> You think they called it D because of the sun? Sunny D! No! They cast a shadow upwards over the sky! God, they can't even understand how a fucking shadow works! Well, maybe Sunny D is brighter than the sun. What the hell is that? Did they forget to add in the crappy 3D ship landing? Or did they just really want the audience to be staring at a still shot of some trees the whole time? Feel the magic. Shut up, John. Why do you love catchphrases so much? How beautiful. Sure is. I gotta go get my backpack. Then we get to wait for him to get his backpack. Will the excitement never stop? It's almost like an art film. Boring and pointless. Maybe those trees stand for something. Maybe the lack of emotion is purposeful. Maybe we, like our leads, are mindless automatons, going through the motions and jaded to life's wonders. Sunny D. Allison! <laughs> Let it go, you're worse than Doug. Let's see where the movie is at now. Oh good, he's still getting his backpack! lady we can't help you yeah she doesn't have anything to worry about the only part of it that's actually animated is its head so i mean unless they walk right into its mouth okay maybe they have something to worry about experienced here acting from the dinosaur what the you couldn't make them walk any fucking faster, seriously? It's not like you had to train them. Aw, looks like his gun didn't return to full size after the adventure of Honey has shrunk the pretend people. I'm so frightened. Well, now I know what the D stands for. Mars. Oh, looks like Stephen A. Sank got some editing tips from DJ Acid X. <gasps> I'm so glad D didn't stand for Damar. That'd make too much sense. Hey, Phelan, you know how they came up with the name? They wanted the D. No. How did they get to Damar? Was that one actually spelled out on the computer? They could spell that one, but they can't spell out 
dinosaur planet? You know, the one that could actually kill them? No, they had to put that one in subtly as D. Aw, check it out. They're landing on an anthill with houses in it. It's cute. Glad we could tune in for part two of Honey, I Shrunk the Morons. I made two Honey, I Shrunk the Kids jokes in this review. I was feeling naughty that day. And shame on you. This is where they said he is. Well, after you. Please, let me get you at table. We're here to see Mr. Agassiz. Oh, business, huh? In that case, you'll be our guests. There's something I see in that waiter. Something I remember from long ago. Life? Is that what it is? Life? Oh, they're at an alien cantina. Guess we know what music we gotta play. Please, have a seat. The show is about to start. I'll get you something to drink. Uh, nothing too strong. I wouldn't want to slow down my sense of judgment. Heidi ho, 50s McCheerios! Hey Grimus, don't forget, ancient cultures also had Kmarts. We'd better give the audience some time to catch up on their laughter after that one. Are you done? Uh, are we in love or something? Hey, did someone say they sure could go for a belly dancer eating up three minutes of the movie's runtime? No, no one said Too that. bad. The belly dancer! I found at a yard sale. Oh, I can't wait for all the lines she's gonna have. What the hell was that? Oh, shut up, Grimace, he's coming. This guy is involved with the resistance or something. Good thing he came to the two people who have fuck all to do with it. I can see this movement is going to last for the next two minutes. No, they're totally legit. They couldn't possibly be here on behalf of the Imperials to arrest or murder them. I want to see fuckface. It's their secret code. It's foolproof. Ah, I see you figured out our I want to see the boss code. Here's all our secret hideouts and plans. Oh, hello. I can trust you with everything, right? No. Wrong. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Resistance over. <laughs> Quick, get the information from him before the green screen completely devours his head. Things have become very repressive. Many have been imprisoned or have just disappeared. You know, it's one thing to show someone reading their lines as they're saying them, it's another to show them reading their lines AFTER THEY'VE ALREADY FINISHED THEM! It's probably too late to turn back now. Yeah, I think so. They got music for these shots of a non-textured ship flying past Google Images. They sure fooled us into thinking this is exciting. Yay. So 50s McCheerios and Grimace were sent to deliver a shipment which will involve walking on green screens. Boy, do we love green screens. What is it? We found a black hole. There's something at the center of it. It's worse than I ever imagined. <laughs> I'm gonna drop to sublight and see what's going on. Yeah, it's not that big a deal. It's only a fucking warning alarm and you're in the future. And in space! Well, watch out, the Lego pieces are after them! 
Oh shit, you know you fucked up when you've upset the game pieces from Battleship. Well, at least this isn't as fucking shit cocks as that whore ass fucking abomination of a dickhole movie Battleship. Oh, I didn't see that one. Neither did I. sunk my giving a fuck about this movie. I've got an idea. I noticed before when we went through a nebula, our instruments went dead, and we couldn't see anything. And then they do Star Trek 2 for some reason. Did someone mention Star Trek 2? Do your chores, boy! Yes, Fat Grandma, I love you! I hate you. Fat Grandma's got sass! What won't she do? Can they successfully kill people who are just trying to defend their territory? At least they sunk their battleship really shittily. Well, you've got the helm. Why don't you lay in our course? Well, uh, I'll say this. They, uh, they sure got the pacing down. What? Do you want to land the ship? You can land it. You're the ace here. I haven't destroyed any enemy ships. Oh, cheer up. Maybe you'll get your chance. Use it only for good. And now, for what passes for humor in this movie. Get it? Well, that's that. I wonder why no one was here to meet us. The backup plan, if no one is there to receive the supplies, is to bury them? Yeah, it was really easy to bury it in the ice. Hope it isn't hard to get to it when these dipshits decide that these super important supplies are actually worth picking up. Aw, look at your sad face. It almost makes you feel bad for reviewing this. Oh, I hope they like this movie. Do you like me? Yeah, we did it. And thus ends that part of the movie. What an exciting conclusion. My life's much more interesting now. I know what you mean. My life is so much better now. I could never go back to my time. You don't realize what you're missing until you've had a taste of freedom. I'll never go back. Oh, you mean that life as a berry-picking purple nun slave wasn't tempting to go back to? Come on, you got one day a week off. If I had been a few minutes earlier or a few minutes later, we never would have met. Oh shit, not an emotion, smile time over! So the two shitters ponder for a moment, educating themselves on this time and helping the Rebel Alliance. But then Grimace remembers she found diamonds on the ship, so fuck that! Oh man. Oh. Never show an emotion again! Oh. Oops, didn't change the background. Oh well. Maybe the other side of him looked exactly the same. We don't know the layout of this plan. Oh, fuck that. And they blow their entire fortune on new clothes. They rationed out their supplies for their time traveling adventure well. So Mr. Talking About How Important This Is decides to send them on odd jobs after buying the diamonds off them? Clearly the resistance isn't that important right now. I don't think we'll need any more money for a long time. No, I think we're set for a while. He's got another job for us. Yeah, we're some set on money. Let's do another job. Does it involve the resistance? No, he says it's not dangerous. He said he'd do it himself if he had a ship. What is it? We'd have to go pick something up on another planet and bring it back here. It's not anywhere near where those star cruisers were, is it? No, it's not anywhere near there. But he said he'd pay us 10,000 credits to do it. It's up to you. We can go if you want to. I mean, if it's not too dangerous and it's not too far, I think we should. 10,000 credits is a lot of money. Why would he pay so much? Why would he pay us that much money for this not dangerous job? Oh, well. At least we tried! 
maybe he thinks we're trustworthy. They never see him again. I'm getting kind of hungry. Do you think you can go to the galley and make us a couple sandwiches? Bring back some drinks, please? We've been reviewing this movie for a long time. You should go make us some sandwiches, please? Why do I have to do it? Sandwiches are done. So, if you ever wanted to watch two slods eating sandwiches and getting their juice on in future dollar store plastic cups? Hells yeah! I mean, it's gotta be delicious! It's delicious. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. I need to put cup holders in this thing. Hang on, how are we gonna know if they drank all of it unless we see it? Boo! Space, the final frontier, to snooze where no bad actors have ever snoozed before! Oh, look at the mountains. Yeah. Again, you'll have to take our word for it. We couldn't find a picture of mountains. A little chilly, but not too cold. It's not cold. It's nice. It's not too cold since it's just a solid white airbrush. Maybe the green screen room is kind of breezy. Oh no, we lost those pesky mountains from the backdrop again. What are we going to do? Oh, there we go. Fixed. Whoa, and here I thought it couldn't get any better. Shit, they even added a slight gradient. Props, guys. And they keep walking and walking and walking. Oh, hey, now we're at the ice wave. I mean cave. Well, a picture of water is still frozen. Ha <laughs> ha, no. We're not dressed for this. So they walked miles and miles on the ice planet before they realized they weren't dressed for cold? Glad these two are trusted by the resistance. What was that? Oh my god, no! Oh my god! Oh man! Yeah! This one while it lasts. We're gonna die, Ruby. And they just resigned to death within 30 seconds. They didn't even bother checking to see if they can salvage the ship or, you know, use their fucking time machine! They have a time machine? Weird that we could forget that. And even fucking weirder that they could. I had a lot of fun. I don't regret anything. Me either. I just wish it would have lasted a little longer. Do you think it will hurt? No, they say they just fall asleep and don't wake up. I wish I had gotten to meet your brother and sister. I want to make a good impression. They would have liked you, too. I could eat some coal. Yeah. Robert! What? Please. What? Robert, is the time machine in your backpack? No. I can't remember. Robert, is the time machine in your backpack? No. I can't remember. He didn't even check! That's kind of a big thing to overlook! Hey, fuckface McCherios, remember that time machine you have? Uh, no. Wait. Yeah. We could use it to get out of here. I don't know. I was kind of set on freezing to death, but I guess. They're the best. Now that they've gone back in time and taken off of the ship, they can finish their job and continue with their space adventures. Just kidding. That was like five minutes ago and fuck that guy. Instead, it's time to meet the parents or just mother because his father killed himself the moment that McCheerio's monstrosity was born. Hey, McCheerios, have you been breaking into my house and stealing my orange juice again? Oh, shit. Let's go back in time so she'll never find out. But Show up and get in the time machine, Grimace. Uh <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, it was. We are so happy for the both of you. So happy. Yeah, so happy. It all happened so fast. Yes, it certainly did. Oh, I love the retirement, but, you know, I really like retirement. So, how long have you guys known each other? I guess about a week. Well, I think it's wonderful that the two of you wanted to tie the knot. What? They're 
getting married? You couldn't even get the actors to kiss, and now they're getting married? Come on, they faded away and she combed her hair. It was love at first sight, and she knows how to make a sweet space sandwich. Please. But what happened to the resistance plot? Allison, that was so two minutes ago. Pay attention. Gotta love framing that makes a couple lamps the focal point. We call that the Julian Jack method. The actors must be six feet apart at all times. I bought a motorhome, so we're gonna travel around in that. One of those big monsters? Oh, yes. It looks like shit. Oh, what an odd thing to say. Must be some close family here. Mr. 50s McCheerios has decided he can't trust his mother and sister with the information he has a time machine and spaceship. I mean, what are they, family? Of course he can't tell them. If he did, he'd have to spend the rest of his life making up for all of the orange juice he's stolen. There's something to be said for doing things when you're young enough to really enjoy it, but... You know, I really like retirement. Well, enough of that shit. Back to this. I love the variety this movie has. I just found this. It was hidden. It's a treasure map. So they just found a treasure map in the back of the ship? A treasure map? A treasure map? What the hell kind of treasure map is that? It doesn't even say what planet or any sort of location. It just says, land here. I mean, for all they know, there were kids on board and they drew it with- Who cares? Gonna do some endless walking in cave scenes. What the hell are you doing? anything just something interesting you are killing me here just oh no they did it <laughs> they put the baby in the toilet uh, he, p he put the baby in the toilet. Wow, I sure am glad we put these walking shots in. This review wasn't long enough. So basically, they abandoned the rest of the movie to follow a treasure map during the last 10 minutes. The film has abandoned the audience at this point. They might as well have found this thing in a box of Crunchberry cereal for how much sense it makes at this point. Stay here, I'll be right back. Stay here while I do more of the interesting stuff off screen. Okay. And can you make me a sandwich, please? Uh. Awkward silence! The movie! Why is it they have the same facial expressions when they're looking for buried treasure as when they've resigned themselves to death on an ice planet? Because in the end, it doesn't even matter! Shut up, Grimace. <laughs> wow, this is a weird looking place. Yes, it's spooky. Feel the magic. Shut up, Megatron. You know, I never thought I'd say this, but... Can George Lucas special edition this the way it was always intended to make it watchable? <laughs> of course, it all makes sense now. McCheerios' father was Metachlorians. He has Metachlorians? Ew! Disgusting! Inappropriate music! <laughs> Of these bags down there. It's one of those convenience caves. Your diamonds come pre-bagged. Looks like somebody's getting some new outfits. To the Kmart of the future! Wow, this is great. I don't see how it get any better than this. Yeah, it's wonderful. We'd like more fish? 
Oh, no thanks. I couldn't eat anymore. I got some seaweed. Good. Robert. What? We need to talk about it. We just got here. We deserve more than a few days rest. Oh, I know. We need a little rest. But at some point, we need to help the resistance. If you don't want to, we won't. I didn't say I didn't want to help them. I just think we need a rest. That's fine. I won't say anything else about it. I want to help them. It's just a question of when. You have a time machine! What does it matter? Alright, we'll flip a coin. Heads we leave now, tails we leave in a week. Alright. Oh, man. And that's it. That's seriously the ending. This is the only movie I know of that ends debating whether or not they should finish their plot. Riveting. So, what'd you think of the movie overall? You know what? Heads it was a great movie, Tails it was terrible. Oh man! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>